Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Gwen's Storytime. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos, but we're back with another character study from the world of The Witcher. Our subject for today is Adalbertus Aloysius Kalkstein. And I use the term subject purposely here, since old Kalkstein is a bit of an experimenter. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Kalkstein enters the story of Geralt in the original Witcher game in the outskirts of Vizima. A scientist of sorts, Kalkstein immediately takes an interest in Geralt's physiology and asks the Witcher if he could examine his corpse after he dies, something Geralt obviously takes offense to. Not the greatest of introductions, but nevertheless, Geralt later rescues Kalkstein from the mysterious Salamandra crime syndicate when the latter attempt to steal Kalkstein's alchemical research and equipment. Because of this, the two men enter in a mutually beneficial partnership, where Kalkstein functions as a vendor, armorer and alchemist to suit Geralt's needs in return for rare monster parts. Kalkstein's area of expertise is alchemy, and in particular transmutation and transformation, making the Witcher mutagens extremely interesting for our fishy-faced sorcerer. He's also a member of the Geomancer and Pyromancer clubs, a school of magic that focuses on earth and fire manipulation respectively, making Kalkstein a veritable jack-of-all-trades. During Geralt's investigation into Salamandra, Kalkstein temporarily became a person of interest, in that he was suspected of being affiliated with the group of criminals. Not in the slightest because Salamandra seemed to bring in more and more mutated humans and creatures to their fights. Abominations like these would fit Kalkstein's abilities to a T, but when the real culprit was revealed to be Azar Javed, the fire mage at the head of Salamandra, Kalkstein took possession of the mysterious mage's tower in the Viziman swamp after Geralt fought Javed off. There were no hard feelings between Kalkstein and Geralt, even though he was unrightfully accused of being a Salamandra tug. Luckily for Geralt, because Kalkstein became vital to craft some of the upgrades that Geralt would need in the fights ahead. As an engineer of sorts, Kalkstein even fashioned a fancy suit of Raven's armor for our favorite Witcher. Always curious to experiment on new monsters, Kalkstein followed rumors of mutants all across the continent, eventually moving to Novigrad, where he opened an alchemy shop. His potions and bombs were once more useful to Dandelion this time, as the bard asked the alchemist for help in paying off a debt to Horson Jr., also known as Cyprian Wiley. Kalkstein created a magical bomb powerful enough to blow open Sigiruven's vault, or as we better know him, Sigismund Dijkstra's vault. The act would be Kalkstein's last entry in the Witcher trilogy story, as it was burned alive at the stake, not much later, by Radovitz's witch hunters. But not before Kalkstein got one final laugh in, as he burned fireworks hidden on his body, went off into the sky before spelling out a rather crude message to the king of the Northern Realms. You can't say the man did not have style as he went out with a huge bang. That's basically the short story of Kalkstein, a character created by CDPR themselves and one they love to add some easter eggs to. His name is actually a reference to famous German scientist Albert Einstein. His first name was somewhat embellished and his last name was only adjusted slightly to the German word for limestone, Kalkstein. To further the link to Einstein himself, Kalkstein even comes up with some physics theories that we know to be true. In one conversation with him, Kalkstein mentions his theory that there are invisible particles that constitute all matter and constantly move and interact with each other. Something we know all too well as atoms and molecules today. And even though Kalkstein met a tragic off-screen death, we still have his lovely mug on a Gwent card of his own, immortalizing the character for the ages. But wait, there's more. We at Team Elderblood have chosen Kalkstein as the face of our new upcoming tournament event. The event will run from May 28th to the 30th and features a host of custom tournaments with creative rules that will test the deck building capabilities of our participants. You can still join up, so definitely check that out. Expect more content from our team in the run-up to the event, so keep an eye out for all of that on our Novigrad Journal website, where you can find all the details that you would need. With that being said, thank you all enormously for watching, and hope to see you all at the event or in the next video. Goodbye, and stay nutty.